Greetings, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Alright, so, first and foremost, I have a plan. I've gotten more than a little sick of listening to myself monologue, and there being long stretches of my recorded episodes that are just boring. I'm not doing anything, I'm wandering around, I'm just practicing, parrying, and all that. So in the future, I'm going to try and not be saying anything that needs to be recorded while I'm doing all of that so that I can just high-speed it, maybe clip it into, like, uh, an extraneous, unnumbered episode that you can see what I was farming for whatever X amount of souls. I don't know. I haven't figured that much out. The other part of it is that I now downloaded a stopwatch timer program type thing to help me keep the episodes 25-ish minutes long. Unfortunately, I haven't quite figured out its workings yet. Most importantly, I haven't found a noticeable enough sound effect to use. And it's easy to adjust, but uh, I haven't found a sound effect that's tension getting enough. Where am I going? Okay, I think this one. It would be really nice if they put these in the proper order that you discover them. Because I think this is the last place I was. All right, yeah, this looks like the place where I was. <clears throat> okay, this is where I killed the knight. Oh, that's in thought. All right, so... Got the stopwatch. Still need to adjust it. Then I'm going to start using it. I don't actually have it going for this time, because I don't think it would actually help. Because this is going to be what I hope to be the last of my long, droning spiels of doing nothing interesting. I wonder if I can get over there. Possibly. This is Dark Souls after all. Either way. Uh, right now what I want to do is just, before I enter the boss zone, meander around this area and see if I can't make sure that I've gotten every item potentially available. Let's not fall off the letter hold. And earn just a few more souls before entering what I'm quite sure is a boss. Oh good, I killed him. I just wonder there was more of them. Now, I know there's a tower deer over my head. Oh! That tower didn't rebuild itself. When they had the item on it. Let's see. This should probably be the propellus bet to bust it. There it is. This weapon takes a fair deal more stamina than the longsword, but I'm betting that it will be a much more reliable... Oh, right, I opened a shortcut to Macduff's. I could have used that instead. Shield. Now kill. Or not. Alright. So, th things like this. Remembering that I opened the shortcut that makes my life... Oh, so this is how you're supposed to notice that box. I just had a message tell me about it. Anyway, distractions. Finish thoughts. Stand still. Concentrate. <clears throat> things like this. I want to re -familiar I want to help practice familiarizing myself with the area. Just the one? I could there's two halberdiers here. Oh, there's more nonsense in here. I want to familiarize myself with the area, get a bit of souls by uh, killing things. And double check that I found all of the loot to be had. Now, if I remember correctly, two of them in here. They click. Maybe that's leather grown. Oh, shit. He sees me. Oh, shit. I knew there was a soldier around here someplace. Aha. I can block that. Fuck you. I'm busy here. How do you like it when I got it? Okay. Alright, so things like that. Knowing that the soldier is here, but not being sure where he's coming from. 
Perhaps he was standing... Yeah, I remember him standing fairly close to that stack of three barrels over there. And I see you guys, but cannot lock onto you. Alright, that went well. Okay, so got that one. We'll get this one. No. No boomy for you. They have really long fingers. Or maybe it was a piece of cloth hanging off his hand. Either way, uh, I just want to go around the area. Familiar size. Fil familiar size. <clears throat> English. Oh, he's opened the door. Okay, uh, I want to familiarize myself with the area, double check I got all the items. I've said all of this about six times now. Let's see, I came from up there, these didn't respawn, thank god. I do wonder if I can get in there. Obviously not by jumping, I'd have to fall into it, but that top on it makes sure that that's not going to happen. Okay, so I don't think so. Right, this goes up, then it leads to the area with the Pharaoh's Lockstone, but there's a couple of these here. Oh, he did see me. Thought I was going to get a backstab up. Oh, shit. Oh, god damn it. Haha, -ha, no, screw you. Shit out. Where is he? There we go, got the lock on. What was that? That was the door. Fuck you. Alright, so it looks like a strong attack can follow a light attack fairly well. Which is not the other way around. Did you get out your crossbow? Bet you did. I think I already had half killed you anyway. Yeah, you're about half killed anyway. I'm surprised you're not getting the crossbow back out. It looks like they're using... Yeah, get a look at that. That's a heavy crossbow, not the standard variety, or at least it looks like it from the previous game. So I bet that if I farm these guys with a raised item drop rate for a while, I will eventually get their heavy crossbow. Aha, double stab. Screw you. Okay. Try fire, and then... Tr Ooh, crack wall. Um, I think I used all of my fire bombs. Yeah, let's try these out. But are they thrown? Dropped? Let's get up there. So stuff like this. You see, messages don't guarantee... aren't guaranteed to show up all the time everywhere. You encounter random messages. Uh, actually, let's back up a step so I don't throw myself off the ledge when I throw the bomb with the one step forward. Or that. Fuck it. Yeah, that worked. Problem solving. Cool. Ooh. Drake. Drake, you say. Arch Drake, not Duke. Okay, 95%, which is actually better than my other shield. Better magic protection. Better everything protection, except for fire and lightning. Shield of the Arch Drake sect of Lindelt. The dragon was engraved for ritual purposes, but the shield itself is highly functional. The secrets of Lindelt rituals are protected by the Arch Drake sect. Arc, probably. Arc Drake. <clears throat> and only a select few are given access to their canon of knowledge, which includes the truthful origins of the Arc Drake sect itself. Hmm. Well, if I ever need a magic protection shield, then I'll have to remember I have that. Robes. Little is known about the Ark Drake sect and its ancient rituals, but it is said that their well-honed miracles and unwavering faith in the face of death made them worthy rivals to Drangleic's forces in their day. Hmm. Is it just the robes? Looks like it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Wait a minute. That's giving me more defense than armor. For Moy's loss of two. Oh, it looks like it's a bit heavier, too. What the hell is this thing made out of? It looks like cloth. My god, what kind of fiber is this thing made out of if it's better defense than actual metal? I mean, there's the concept of hard leather, of course, but still. Alright, so this thing just lights the torch, and I'm not planning on igniting any more boomy barrels with manual statue. Statue. It's a statue. That guy over there is real. Switch ahead. Look carefully. Thank you. Okay, that almost worked. And he avoided that. Thank God for full physical protection. Hey, Corridor! Fuck you. I win. <clears throat> Big sweepy weapons like this are not typically useful in a corridor, but I can stab with it, so that's nice. One, two, three, four. See if I can get that to connect. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm gonna finish talking now and then just put the rest of this on speed through. Things like that crack in the wall are easily missed when you're tense in a new area. When you're exploring it for the first time and always on the lookout for the traps that, you know, could be said to be an iconic part of Dark Souls. Uh, so I want to I wanna go around the area, familiarize myself with it a bit more, double check that I got everything, and then... You know, earn some souls in the process. I want to get a bit more stamina and a little bit more equipment load. Not much, though. I think I'm roughly at the set of equipment that I'm going to be using for the rest of the game. Yeah. Now, see, this is a point. Um, now that I know that they'll position that dart. Now that I know that there are barrels positioned to trigger certain things, like a crack in the wall, there is potentially shortcuts. But how will I ignite them? I haven't seen fire arrows in the shop yet, and I... And... Well, put my foot in my mouth. I've only got ten of those, though. And I don't think I can find or buy them without there being another corpse of them someplace. I'm pretty sure I probably got those from a corpse somewhere. Not that I can remember, but just best guess. Illusion ahead. Which way is he facing? The wall. Yeah, I think that's just a troll message. Okay. Wait, what happened to you? Dogs? You met the dogs. Congratulations. Man's best friend. Okay, now I remember there's a way up there. Can I get up there to get over there? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so I guess this is a one-way, and you need to go back to McDuff's, which is why the shortcut is there. Which doesn't make sense to me. What's this a shortcut to, then? Like, it's one thing that this shortcut's back to McDuff's, but what are you supposed to be able to get? Oh, the harbor. Wait, wait. Ooh, shiny. What shiny? Now, I said I was going to stop talking, but, uh, I guess that's something I'm just not comfortable with yet. Hmm. Ooh. Wait. Seriously? Now, if I'm not mistaken, that's the bridge, yeah, to where the fog door and probably the boss is. That looks like you're supposed to jump off the bridge onto it, but I don't even know how you would get onto the railing. It doesn't look like there's a break in the wall anywhere. Wait, wait. This goes someplace. Hopefully, a place I can reach. It looks like it. Okay, so I think that area in there is the one that's blocked by the statue. No, wait. That's where I met Blade Hat. And this... I don't remember getting up on top of anything like that, though. Alright, I'm gonna go check out McDuff's. There might be... There might be way up there that I missed. Now see, something like this. These barrels just piled here. 
put me in mind of them trying to cover something up. Now, normally that platform down there is solid, and it respawns, which makes me think that potentially you can do something with it. Maybe it's just plunging attack onto the halberdier, or the plunging attack breaks it, and you get free damage, or, you know, any number of things. There's a door over there. Let's see if I can get a zoom in on that. Yeah. That's a door. I assume you can walk, go around there. Oh, put it away. Take it back out. Oh, I don't have to actually have it drawn to aim. I knew that. Okay, so you jump from there to there. There to there. Okay, so that just means that I need to find a way under the bridge. Looks like door over there. Wait, is that planks or bars? I love that you can just look around in Dark Souls and find things like this. Oh look, another item. And that's a door. Now where's the bridge? I'll use the bridge as a landmark. It's right there. To get down to there. It looks like there's more area to explore over here as well. And I know I can take this. But no fall damage. Cat ring for the win. That thing may have been expensive, but it looks like it's been saving me a lot of trouble and a lot of damage. And I have to go back to McDuff's to get up top. Alright, so I'm going to go from McDuff's. Go step into the bonfire. Because I'm not doubling back into this area since it's a dead end, it seems. After you jump off the roof. Oh, right. You buggers are still here. Big sweeping attacks. Good for that. Oh, oh, they dropped something. Aha. Right. They eat people. Yeah, see, now this makes me curious about all of these... Whether or not there's walls that they can explode, but I don't really have a good way to trigger them that doesn't involve burning my face off. Can a fire weapon trigger them? Yep! Kind of thought that would. Good to know for sure, though. Try bonfire, thank you. Uh huh. I don't think he'll bother pushing that down anymore since it doesn't actually affect anything. Help me. Suck it up. Try bonfire. Try torch. I ought to fetch flame. Try torch, you say? Okay. Um. Why not? Should I talk to him with it? I ought to I ought to fetch a new one. Okay, so does he only move into this place after you light the torch? Otherwise he So I'm I'm assuming that he has some kind of issue with Yeah. Okay, so that message made it clear. You have to light that torch to get him to move over there and stop sitting on his ass on this chest so that you can open it. What does that message say? Try jumping. What? Oh! Ooh, I bet something could be done with this later. Or it's just, you know, a nice trick. Hmm. Yeah, physics. Standing on nothing. <laughs> hmm. Okay, anyway. What even is the point of this door? Eh, whatever. Uh, rest of bonfire. Okay, so in the future, I am looking for fire projectiles. Ah, crap, I aggroed the dogs. Hello. Shit, I need the other dog too. Soul of a nameless soldier, I'll bet. Bloody hell. Okay. 
That didn't go so well. Note self. Clear enemies. Um, okay, so now I have a thing to look for. I'm double checking all the boomy barrels to make sure that some of them don't trigger holes in walls. Which could explain a few of the messages that seem to be all over this area about ex I remember a message being here before that said try rolling or jumping, something along those lines. Bonfire is right over there, the souls will be right over here. Why not? Yeah, gotta jump it. It's interesting though, you can do that. Of course, if you try that before you've actually opened that door, that's a good way to get yourself killed. Suck it. Okay. Just to be sure. Yep, that's why I wanted to be sure. Make sure that the ones, now that this gate's open, that they can aggro onto me. Alright. And you! Of course. Never have enough problems that Dark Souls can't give you a few more. Okay, that looked like something where he would have picked me up. He was trying to grab me. Alright. You're dead and out of my way. Get the mutt. I'm going to assume that that's basically just a shortcut, because I know from having walked off of it while I was in the middle of talking that you don't get anything from... I should probably just use two light attacks instead. Let's see. Alright, so I've been dithering again, but I'm not going to stop just yet. Even though this whole episode, I've been talking about how I'm going to stop dithering. I'm instead dithering more. Anyway, now that I have a stopwatch program, that should help me keep the episodes at a more reasonable length. Let's see. I have seen these set off, and I assume they would set these off, and it doesn't look like there's anything in here for them to affect. Okay, so now that I have the stopwatch program, that will help me set the episode lengths more appropriately to 25 and 30 minute lengths which is where I want them to be it's about how much you should be able to see that uh, most people would be able to take in one sitting without it being too exasperating particularly when I'm being stupid I'm going to go gawk at all the walls here now Where'd these bits of roll come from Oh yes, that fell out. I remember there being, a, I think, at least two messages around the walls here that said that uh, there was a fake wall. They called it a illusory wall, of course, but fake wall nonetheless. Anyway, I don't see anything immediately recognizable. Okay, so the stopwatch will help me make the episodes be more appropriately linked, which will just be an ease of access thing for me when I'm editing them, which will of course allow me to record more of them at once. Because I won't have to worry about the nightmare of editing two hours worth of footage. Not only can you... Mm. This is a risk. How did I kill him before? Stabbing. Wrong door. Yeah! Gotcha. Really don't like them. Okay. So I can say that I've checked it up to here, at least. I've been down that ladder.
here, but I do not see. Oh, he's over there. Ooh. Anyone else? Now this is really fucked up. Really damn creepy thing. Real. Still real. Real again. Real. Oh, look, chest. Locks don't open. Okay, I think I've checked every wall in here, and none of them are fake. What that locks don't open? Priest chime. Oh, is it, uh... Oh, I bet this is the new faith item. Previously, in the last game, it was uh, talismans, typically made of... No, I think all of them were made of cloth. So you're trying to grant to do high-ranking clerics, catalysts for miracles, and hexes. That's interesting. Grand Lake was the home of many clerics, but King Bendrick held a lukewarm opinion of their powers. He kept them only as attendants to ceremony. In this sense, Grand Lake was not... Place for a cleric with any ambition. Hmm. What is that stat? Casting speed. Huh. Shot range. Okay, and the rest of them look dark and lightning, okay. okay it's about a half pound. Oh, right. Eighteen. Faith, I'm going to assume? Yeah. How much do I have? Six. This is not in my future. Now what I could really go for is some pyromancy. Assuming, of course, that it's like the last game. And doesn't require stats to use. Slots used and no discernible stat requirements now this this is magic it requires 14 intelligence yep this doesn't have any requirements good so that means that as long as whatever it is that pyromancy is cast with this time around once i find it i can use them help me and then quite something Facing this way. Okay, so I'm going to assume that means that something nasty comes out when you put the lockstone in. So, you know, out goes like this. This is what I'm looking for this episode. Just taking a double take over all of the area that I've covered in the Bastille up to this point to make sure I've got everything. Double check that I'm familiar with. Sounded like one of the boomies. Really close by. I've only just now noticed that there's a ceiling to this room and that a platform is above it. Oh. Yeah. I'm over here. Oh, it's him. Okay, I guess he hasn't gotten the aggro he needs to explode yet. Get him. Ah. I don't remember sitting at the bonfire. Hmm. No matter. Okay. Onward. 
So I just want to I want to take a double check of the entire area, make sure I've you know with a um, now that I've been through it all at least once and can remember most of it, distinguish parts of it from other parts. I can much more closely examine my surroundings for things like cracks in the walls to explode with bombs. Platform down there for me to land on. No, just check and roll. Now, what I'm looking for is... Okay, so that thing I saw first was just a window with bars on it. But somewhere around here is a lower bridge access. Okay, not here. The main bridge is over there, and the bit is underneath it. Hello? 72 189 That's interesting Yeah, so I guess that means that What's that? Okay, so this I was afraid of before This time I'm going to check it out Okay, now I'm at risk of turning around And falling off Crap, I shouldn't have gotten this close Let's try turning side Yeah, there we go so you'll notice that if you turn around like this, your feet like that, the part where it throws your right here, when it does the thing where it puts the foot behind in the direction you're going in order to turn around more sharply, that's what throws you off ledges. You went to the left. You fell in the well. You poor thing. Okay. So this is what I was looking for. Let's see. I am now roughly above what I would want to be on. No, wait. The main bridge is not this. Where is that main bridge? I need it. it is a... It's up there. No? I'm lost. This is the kind of thing I'm wandering around for. To make sure... That this doesn't happen in the future. Okay, get up there. Uh, aiming a bit low. Nope! Almost died. Well, can't ring with probably save me for this. Uh, where does that go again? There we go. Nope, 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 nope. Slipping. shortcut. Um, yeah, that looks normal. Wait. Crap. I can't get back onto that from here, I don't think. Uh, but that staircase just loops back around up to here anyway. Okay, so, go and get this guy. Good. Now then, boomy barrels, cracked walls. Here's a boomy barrel. I really need a better way to do this. I almost wish I hadn't figured out that I could do this. Bombs away. What's your story? Uh, I guess I couldn't take that one. Well, obviously nothing there. <laughs> 